IT organizations have a core mission which is backed by one or more mission critical applications that need to be always operational. As these mission critical applications are containerized, the need for a business continuity solution takes strategic importance. While Kubernetes offers auto healing for failures within the cluster, it doesn't handle cluster wide disasters. To add to that, the typical manual operations that have been employed to recover traditional monolithic applications do not hold good for microservices based Kubernetes applications due to the need to protect several logical components of a Kubernetes application. For applications on Kubernetes, what should an ideal BCDR plan deliver? Quite simple. We wanted to deliver business continuity with minimal downtime, and we also want a simple to use Kubernetes native solution that is built on a trusted and proven replication technology. Now, what if we combine both these expectations into one solution? NetApp's Astra Control now leverages SnapMeter technology to bring a fully automated DR solution for cloud native applications with a custom defined RPO while delivering RTO in minutes. Let's first go backstage and understand how Astro Control orchestrates the entire BCDR workflow. We shall start with two Kubernetes clusters. I have one running in India, this will be our production cluster, and another cluster running in the United States, which will be our DR cluster. Each Kubernetes cluster has its own NetApp All Flash Fast Storage system delivering persistent storage to the applications. An instance of Astro Control Center is managing both these Kubernetes clusters. To set up a DR solution for applications on these clusters, we perform a one-time operation of peering both the storage systems. I have an e-commerce application in the India cluster through which I am selling antique goods. Antiques are expensive and I need to deal with high value transactions that I cannot afford to go wrong with. On implementing a DR plan for my antique store, Astro Control automatically creates PVCs with equivalent attributes at the DR site and sets up a snap mirror relationship between the source and the destination storage systems. The data is incrementally replicated from the source to the destination based on the user defined RPO interval. At the same interval, the application metadata is also repeatedly captured by Astro Control from the Kubernetes cluster. In case of a disaster or a need to fail over the application, the user just needs to click a button. In the backend, the snapper or replication is stopped, the volumes in the DR site are promoted, that is, made available for read-write access, a copy of the application is rebuilt on the DR Kubernetes cluster using the latest metadata information from the last RPO window and the PVCs in the DR site. The application admin can now redirect client traffic to the application instance that is running in the DR site. The ball doesn't stop rolling there. Astro Control also provides workflows to resync the data between the two sites after recovering from the outage and to fail back to the production site to restore the original roles of the two sites. We will look at a couple of these workflows now. Let's get into Astro Control. We have two Kubernetes clusters, India Kubernetes cluster and USA Kubernetes cluster. We have two backends. India ONTAP and USA ONTAP that are connected to the respective Kubernetes platforms. From the application section, we can see my antique store running on the India cluster. Let me click on the application and head to the resources tab. Here we see all the Kubernetes resources that constitute the application. Moving to the storage section, we can see two persistent volume claims and the associated persistent volumes that are used by the application. Now head to the data protection section. I will select replication and click configure replication policy. I will choose my cluster in USA as the DR location, select the storage class to be used for the volumes in the DR site, replication type will be asynchronous, and I will create a new namespace in the DR Kubernetes cluster for this application. The replication frequency is 5 minutes, this is our RPO, the offset is left at defaults, and in the next step we confirm the replication of the antique store application to US. The replication begins straight away and after a few minutes the status changes to established. Now from NetApp System Manager, we can see the snap mirror replication relationships configured automatically for the two persistent volumes we saw earlier. Now in my antique store, one of my customers places an order for a gramophone costing 12,000 US dollars and chooses direct bank transfer as the mode of payment. The order is placed. From the admin view, we connect to the back end and can see a record in the order section. The status of the order is on hold. I will go ahead and change the status to pending payment as I'm yet to receive the funds via bank transfer. I step away for a coffee and when I return, my application is not responsive anymore. 
This could be due to a partial outage of some services in my data center in India, or it could be the onset of a total outage as well. Either way, my application is not responsive, but I need to process my orders and keep my store up and running. Enter Astro Control. We see that the India cluster is unavailable. Under the application section, we see that the antique store application is also unavailable. Let's click on the replicated instance of the application. In the replication relationship, we see that the source is also unavailable. Let's click on the three dots and choose failover and confirm the action. The application and its operation will now fail over to the Kubernetes cluster in USA. Since the data of my application is already replicated to the data center in US, my application is brought up and running in the US site in a matter of few minutes. Let's connect to the US Kubernetes cluster to view the application. The application should be created within the antique store DR namespace that was specified. We see that the pods of the application are running. A service has been created to expose this application. The PVCs have been created to provide the required persistent storage for this replicated instance of the application. Let us connect to the application by logging in as the admin. We see the order that was placed and its status is payment pending. This was the same state of the application when we had an outage in the India data center and we have been able to recover it within a few minutes and continue with our operations straight away from the US cluster. This is our one-click DR solution with Astro Control. Moving forward, my customer has made the payment and have delivered the product. So we go ahead and update the status to completed and my application continues to run from the US DR site. Now, didn't that look easy and straightforward? I bet. We just did something remarkable in a few minutes. In a manual approach, this would have taken at least a few hours to fix without an assurance for resuming operations after all the time and effort. Let's summarize what we have seen. We traversed the DR failover workflow for containerized applications all in a fully automated fashion. We can manage our BCDR plans at an application level granularity with varying RPOs. Some applications may need a five minute RPO while some may need an hour. It's not a one-size-fits-all approach, and we cater to it all. Significant reduction in RTO. This is a game-changer. The key here is NetApp SnapMirror that ensures the data is already replicated to the secondary site, and the application can be reconstructed in a matter of minutes. I can confidently say that this new capability from NetApp Astro Control is a game-changer for all mission-critical applications running in a cloud-native format. Do note that this capability extends seamlessly to a hybrid cloud implementation as well across all major hyperscalers. For more such videos on NetApp Astra, please scan the QR code on the top right. And I look forward to seeing you on another demo very soon. Thank you. <laughs>